A petty pre-sheaf is the dictionary translation of the solution set criterion in the adjoint functor theorem in terms of pre-sheaves. Recall the more general adjoint functor theorem. Let A be an idempotent complete category, then a functor G is a joint if and only if, one, G is uniformly continuous, and two, G satisfies the solution set criterion. The translation of this into pre-sheaves becomes the general representability theorem. Let A be an idempotent complete category, then the pre-sheaf T is representable if and only if one, T is pointwise continuous, and two, T is petty. We have already shown that G is uniformly continuous if and only if for each B object B. The pre-sheaf B, B, G is pointwise continuous. Now we're going to show that G satisfies the solution set criterion if and only if the associated pre-sheaf for each B is petty. We have not yet defined petty, but knowing how to translate functors into pointwise pre-sheaves, we can always construct a definition. So let's recall G satisfies the solution set criterion if and only if for each B object B there exists a set of morphisms PJ from B to G AJ such that for each morphism F from B to GA there exists an index little j in big J and an A morphism H from AJ to A such that GH PJ is equal to F. In pre-sheaf terms we have T is petty if and only if there exists a set of elements PJ such that for each element F in TA, there exists an index lil j in J and an amorphism H from AJ to A, such that TH PJ is equal to F. Then from this reverse engineering, we have a functor G satisfies the solution set criterion if and only if for each B object B, the pre-sheaf B, B, G is a petty pre-sheaf. And the proof is that we just put B, B, G in for the pre-sheaf T in the definition of petty above. And that completes the proof.